Eamon Khan here, four seconds out with Tyler Denny ahead of his outing this weekend. Tyler, how are you doing, sir? Good man, why are you doing now? Um, got my drink down, maybe we're going to have some food. Happy days, man, happy days. You're kind of one of the guys alongside Dan Aziz, really, who when boxers have come through, they've put uh, their weight behind them, given the push, and you've taken your opportunities. You've worked hard and you've elevated yourself. Do you feel like you're going to take the opportunity on the spotlight this weekend and really seize the moment? Uh, 100%, man. Everything's, everything's aligned together for me in order for me to do that. Um, European title, Wolverhampton. What more can I want? What more can I want? It's perfect. And I'm going to do it in style as well. Looking forward to it. Matteo Signani in the way there of what you want to achieve. What's your scout report on Matteo? I haven't got I'll leave that to my coaches, man. I just listen to what they tell me in the corner. But I, I, I believe I'm a better fighter than him, better boxer than him. I've got everything better than him. So there's no way I'm losing. Do you feel that you have to put on an impressive display, not only to you know, create highlight reels, great moments, but to keep your name in people's mouths, to get the bigger fights that you're looking for? I should be myself. I feel like all my fights are action-packed and anyway, entertaining fights. I just... You know, I just carry on doing what I've been doing. It's got me to where I am now, and why change it if it's not broken? How many fans you got coming up for you? What do you say, so How many fans you got coming up for the show? Um, I've done, I've done like nearly a thousand tickets, so it's gonna be it's gonna be wild in there, man. It's gonna be crazy, and I'm gas for it, man. It, it gets me excited thinking about it, and I'm happy for everyone because everyone gets a night out and stuff, and the, everyone the whole area is looking forward to it. So can't wait. As the stakes get higher, do you feel the pressure? Are you someone that carries that pressure or are you just relaxed about it and don't really feel it? I'm not, because I'm too chilled, man. I, just, I try and wake myself up like 10 minutes before the fight, just chilling. Um, what pressure, man? It's not pressure to me. I've, I've done all the hard work. This is the fun time now. Do you know what I mean? I don't, I don't see it as pressure. There, there's other things that's pressure, like feeding your kids or whatever. This is fun, man. This is sport. I'm doing people dream of doing these things. Yeah, I mean, I enjoy it, so not pressure. How about shining a light on the BCB stable one that, again, uh, not one that's often given the spotlight, but when they do, they take their opportunities as well. And you're kind of leading the light as well, too. Got Nathan Heaney as well out this weekend as well as part of that stable, too. Liam Davis defending yeah. his European as well. Um, yeah, man. Zach Parker as well. We've got there's loads of fighters out there. And I wish he knew the best against. He's got a tough fight against Bentley for the British. I know Liam Davis is going to go in there and smash it like he always does as well. So uh, the BCB as a whole and the gym is buzzing, man. And, it's good because everyone pushes each other in, in training and everything. So, and we're all getting big opportunities. Shame it's on the same day, but it is what it is, isn't it? Tyler, I'll leave the final word with you. Tyler, I'll leave the final word with yourself. What happens this Saturday night in your fight with Matteo Signani? Um, I'm going to absolutely hammer him and uh, claim my belt. Tyler, looking forward to seeing that happen. Thanks for taking us out.